Attention, you are entering the zone controlled by the enemy. Hey guys, v here with another V-Place, taking a look at my other tier 10 heavy, the F7U. Oh wait, it's multi-roll. I think this is going to be a good comparison because the only other player on the other team is going to be another F7U. And the F7U, the reason I call it a heavy, even though this thing is a multi-roll fighter, is... It operates a lot like a heavy fighter does. In fact, it has the exact same guns as the F2H at tier 9, and it is one of the fastest, if not the fastest, actually I, I checked the stats, it's the fastest multi-role fighter that's available in the game. This thing can go, with a boost, 689 miles an hour, when, oh, not carrying bombs, Oh, <laughs> really fast. Uh, and when it isn't, when it is carrying bombs, excuse me, it can go about 650. So it's a nasty little beast, and it also carries a pretty hefty air to ground ordnance. I mean, look at that boost. We, we're gone, already gone. And one of the things that's uh, really great about this aircraft is that it is. One of the first aircraft in the U.S. inventory as a carrier that carried air-to-ground ordnance, or excuse me, was afterburning. Guns overheat pretty quick, and granted this is already taken, but I wanted to show what the guns could do here. That was not a kill. But this thing is just fast. It's so fast, and look at that afterburning engine. This thing gets a bad rap for the most part. Uh, it was called the gutless in real life because the thing kind of sat high angle with a landing gear so the thing was pitched up at a high degree of an angle and with this delta wing kind of floated when it tried to land on the carrier in a lot of cases this thing wrecked so on to the aircraft and how i fly this thing i fly it much like i do the heavy if i don't like the engagement i leave the engagement i use the speed to be able to get around the battlefield i think it's a 20 second boost it can go really really fast and that is just awesome it really lets you be able to do the same things I like to do in a heavy, which is dictate what fights you get into and what you do with it. Always doing the up and over turn with my air quote heavy fighter. Bring this gun around to bear, slam it on the brakes, and look at that damage output. We're just wrecking that heavy fighter. One down. Let's move on to the next. Bring it around again. Gotta love these jet ground attackers at this tier because that means that they sit in front of my guns longer and I won't have as much of an issue with stalling out. Although, we're getting there. Whew. Still gotta look out for the tail gunners, they can be nasty. The bombs this thing gets is it gets uh, four or 500 pound bombs and at this tier they're the tier 10 bombs. They're the same bombs the XF90 gets which can do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, there's that tail gunner wrecking me again. We want to take these guys out quick. Get out of here. There we go. And we capped the zone just on killing aircraft. Boom. Gotta love it. And like I said before, I'm running that blue ammo on the left-hand side indicates that I am running the ammo that is used for the universal ammo. We are also running the camouflage, and I did buy this permanently. There's those four bombs. I believe they do about over 5,000 damage a piece with a pretty decent blast radius. In fact, I'm actually contemplating putting on Demolition Expert onto this aircraft. We have a very strong potential to dominate in this map, uh, just because... I wonder if I can get there before they cap it. Let's use the speed to our advantage. Let's see how fast we can get up to doing a straight line boost we're getting over 600 miles an hour and we're really getting across this battlefield they're about to kill that guy no i thought i could do it oh well we gave it a shot at the very least we can do this bye and now we're gonna leave because crap we're really close to the enemy he is catching up to me but then i get the boost going and now we're gone again well over 600 miles an hour, and that allows us to be able to dictate the flow of the battle. 
since this is a multi-roll and not a heavy, I do have decent maneuverability. There he is. He does not like me. Stay away. We're going to be in a bit of a dogfight here with our antithesis. Bye. We can do this all day, man. Except I think that you're going to have the edge on me. Although, I am built with a speed build. I'm not sure if he is. And it doesn't look like he is. This is the difference of running a speed build. Is I am able to get ahead of him. He's almost at 3,000. Ooh, he built up some boost. He used it. No, 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 no. I want to go. I want to go. Oh, he got me. Maybe he does have the same build. He just built up his boost quicker than me. But, doesn't matter. We're still dominating the map. Whew. Man, that was nasty. I would rather not do Demolition Expert. I would like to be able to get Marksman 3. So that way we can increase the amount of damage that this thing has on a Boom and Zoom run. Which is something that I kind of talk about when I mention Fly My Heavy Fighters. So, if I'm going to say that this thing is a heavy... I might as well use it like a heavy, right? And here's a prime example. We're going to use our speed to get to where we need to be, which is right here. This one's the one we want. Oh no, we didn't get any of them. We can't even get this one. Oh well. That stinks. We lost that zone, I think. Let's go up and get this heavy. He is up at a much higher altitude, but I think we can catch him. Javelin is fast, but we are managing to be able to catch up to him. And he's going to turn. Come on. Turn. Do the thing I said you were going to do. The enemy has gathered forces to attack there the he is. Be and these 20s do hit with that critical damage that we like. LA-15. We are really high up. This is not where this aircraft wants to be. We cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Let's come down and copy. discharge all of our munitions on the main capture point over here. We'll drop two in this corner and two on the other corner. Target's up. Yeah, and if we had that marksmen we probably would have been able to get that kill but they are still distracted by the bombers so we're going to take advantage of that opportunity one down Ooh, and we got it anyways yeah we didn't do great when you compare the stats i mean look at that eight thousand but it did its role and we definitely got 8,000 combat points but we did not get the chevrons that we were looking for. I think being able to get some more damage or more capability with the bombs, you kind of got to pick and choose which one you want to go for. I think I'm going to try Demolition Expert. We're going to go with the four bombs and see how they play out. Alright, hey guys, VBAT here with another V plays. Taking a look at the F7U with Demolition Expert. We had to go into a training room, spend over five minutes in matchmaking. It is the morning, nobody's really on, so it's hard to get a good match. So I just want to see how these 500 pounders do with Demo Expert. I have a feeling that this is either going to go really well or really bad. So we're going to go after this radar facility real fast and see what she's able to do. Now we've already discovered stripping the bombs off gave us a little bit of a speed boost, but it was negligible. We're going to come at this thing from the side, the main dish, and we're going to drop two bombs in the middle here and see how it works. Two bombs in the middle should be enough to knock out a sight. And if it can't, then we know that we probably don't have enough oomph to it. Yep, <clears throat> that didn't quite do it. Now maybe it was a little bit off. What happens if we drop one bomb on this side? Usually if I drop one bomb with a decent sized bomb, it can knock out one of these sights. Can one bomb do it? Nope. Okay guys. 
VBAT here with another VPlay as we're running the XF-15C and we're running it with the P-38J pilot. Why are we doing that? Because the P-38J pilot is my closest pilot to getting another skill point in order for me to be able to give him Marksman 2, which is what I want to have on my F-7U. The F-7U just got another skill point like you guys saw in the F-7U video. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some free XP off of this aircraft onto the J and we'll retrain him for the F-7U later. So for now, we're going to use this. It's times three weekend because it's Friday and we're going to try and get some XP real fast. Now there's only two players per side and we've got the tier nine, they do not. Get ready for action. Let's go.
Ooh. All right, guys, I'm back. We've got Marksman 2 on here. Attention. Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> That's my own clan. Put the bombs back on. We got Marksman 2. Uh, we've got the radiator to increase the cooling time of the boost because that's where I think we're going to get the most money out of this thing. Oh, I need the fourth one. I thought I hit it enough. Spam faster. Way more consistent with these guns. Way more consistent, which is what we wanted. Whew. Now we got an uphill battle on our side here. We are playing up against some of the uh, top 100 players in the game, if not the top 25. I haven't checked where Assist Jack and Beaver are at, but they are definitely up there on the skills. I am not in chat because I'm recording. Yeah, the this is what tips the scale over. Definitely that accuracy. Now, we're probably not going to win this, guys. I'm just going to throw it out there. This is probably not going to be a great game. But I think we'll still be able to highlight the strengths of the, of the aircraft with these upgrades that we've been putting all this effort into. Got to get rid of him. We're burning him out. Looks like the bombers took that one site. He's going to be mad and he's going to try and get on me. <laughs> but he's dead. And here's... Nope, not his buddy. Can get up here and intercept some of these. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, I get the better bots. Should we tell him? Let's tell him after we kill this plane.
<laughs> They're not going to believe me when I say that. <laughs> And we're gone. Sea beaver, you ain't gonna catch me either. <laughs> Alright, let's do what these things are usually meant for. Multi rolls are great at taking out the smaller targets. Let's see if one bomb will do it. <laughs> I spent this entire match piloted, that's my fault. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to oh. reach you. Do you read me? Over. Something's on me. I don't like it. No sir, I don't like it one bit. And we got it back. There is a ground attacker working his way over here. We gotta take him out if we want to get this as a win. What's behind me? Not any of those guys. <coughs> the speed on this aircraft has allowed me to... Oh, let's go up after this guy. Has allowed me to be able to kind of dictate the pace of the battle around here. That was a mistake. He is climbing. Yep. Whew. Guys, I hope I'm showcasing what this plane can do because this really has changed it quite a bit. I'm proud of you, pilot. Good game, good game. Ooh. Oh, palms are sweating. That was a rough one. <clears throat> Those guys are pretty good players. Uh, I think we've kind of lucked out, like they said, with some of the bots. There is a bot dynamic that allows certain bots to be a little bit better. There's like veteran bots, if you would, and they're actually indicated by the icons on the side of the aircraft. Uh, you can see just above the display here, you've got those two airplanes and a bomb icon that indicates how many aircraft and ground targets you've destroyed in this aircraft. This is still a recent aircraft for me, so I don't have a whole lot, but the bots will have a higher number of those. So that's how you kind of determine that. Um, we're able to get this pilot back up to 100%. He was not flying at 100%, so Marksman wasn't fully engaged. <laughs> so now we have a fully engaged Marksman. So it's going to be even better. Uh, we did really good there. Uh, yeah, so... 25% boost to the accuracy, even more so than we have right now, so awesome. So, good game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been a long one. Uh, a lot of different recordings. So, if you've enjoyed it, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and we'll try and make these videos better in the future. And maybe I'll even get a better headset, because I can already hear the breathy noises.